Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspies 11 box. Football is back. Pick your team mixer number one. Very big thank you to all of these people right here who picked their team. Really appreciate it. Football is back, folks. Thursday night, week one. Coming at us. Man, I'm excited. I am excited. All right, let's see. Should we go oldest to newest? Sure. Let's go back in time to 2013 Panini Prism Football. So here's all 11 box right there. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Elements is 10, and the mini helmet is 11. There it is. Old 2003 EJ Manuel on the front right here. Is EJ Manuel still in the league? <laughs> He's got to be a backup somewhere now. All right, box one of 11. Good luck, everybody. Who do we have here for this break? I know TJ is here. He's got the Bears in this one. Louie has his Cowboys. I think I saw Paul Hutchins here earlier. I know, is Jose still around? Jose might still be here. Jesse was here earlier. Saw Sanford here earlier too. I know El Canon is here. I saw him a little bit earlier. There's Paul. Nice, Bill's here. Bill's got the Cardinals in this one. Oh yeah, there's Jesse. Jesse's still here. All right, nice. Hi, Dan Maddox. Are you in this one, Dan Maddox? You are. Vikings for you. All right, good luck, Dan. Good to see you. All right, good luck, everybody. All right, we're going to lead off with big Eric Decker. Steve Stone here, too. There's Sanford. Where did he end up going? I know he, this is different edition, but he was on the Bills. They released him and he got picked up by... Chad dancing. KC, that's right. You guys are right. Yeah. That's interesting. If uh, if LaShawn McCoy can get a little bit of the old shady back? I don't think he was. It's not like he was bad last season, right? It's an interesting pickup. Does that offense need the help? <laughs> I feel like no. Hmm. This redemption is probably expired, but I think you can get something out of Penny for it, if not the actual card itself. A lot of blast from the past here on this. It's a catch. I'll give that a catch. It's did certified fill. No, AJ has, and you can't take credit yet. 
But when it does, yeah, it was all you. The, the commission check is in the mail, AJ Anderson. Sorry, James Jones. And we've got Darius Slay. Rookie auto for the Detroit Lions. Travis Melberg, Lucati Mojo. All right, and here we've got Tyler Eifert, rookie autograph for the Bengals. Last spot Mojo. There you go, nice. All right, let's move on to the following year. From 2013, we jumped to 2015 Prism Football, which I believe is that one right here. Featuring Miss Retiree. Remember that Tom Brady's gonna out out has outlasted Andrew Luck? Isn't that crazy? If someone said back in 2015 that Tom Brady would outlast Andrew Luck, I would I would say that's crazy talk. But yet here we are in a world without Andrew Luck. That has to be, I don't know how you guys felt when that happened, but that has to be one of the most surprising bits of news that, uh, that I've heard in sports in a very long time. You know, I, I heard about it on a Saturday night, and the group of people that I was with, and they were just like, oh my god, Andrew Luck retired. And you're like, yeah. No, he didn't. Stop. And they're like, no, yeah. And then one by one, like people like looking at their phones, getting notifications, and you're like, Andrew Luck retired? I didn't believe anybody at first. And I was like, no way. He's not retiring. And maybe I are. Something, I don't know, like I getting held out the first few weeks season, sure. Retire? It's shocking to me. Stunner. I got a question for everybody. While we're ripping all these packs open. What's a player? That you would be like, what's another like surprise retire? Like, who's the next guy to do a surprise retirement? Surprise retirement. A la Andrew Luck. All right, here's 2015. There's Terrell Davis to 150. Josh Shaw. Those greens will ship, but they're not numbered. Same with the blue ones, I think. Or in these red ones, too. Mariota die cut. Justin Houston. Aaron Rodgers? No, we'll stick with football for now, Chad. NFL. I guess if we can't think of any, maybe we can we'll, we can then exp expand it. Yeah, an Aaron Rodgers retirement would be pretty Surprising, right? There's Titus Davis autographed 299 for the Chargers, but I'm talking like within within reason. You know what I mean? Like a player that you like, like I don't know. Pretty much, I'm talking to Andrew Luck, like someone who's maybe been banged up, and then you're just like, oh, well, he'll come back. You know, like like I could see like like Cam Newton would be a shocker, right? He's just like if he gets like another 
if he has to do another shoulder injury, what if he just walks away and says, you know what, I just can't do this anymore? You know, like I'm getting banged around my my uh, here's here's another surgery that I another shoulder surgery that I have to do, and. Antonio Brown, I said surprising, Chad. <laughs> Zion, I'm just watching Zion right now. Big Ben, I could see retiring, but even Big Ben's a little bit older, right? So I could see, I could see Big Ben going. And I could kind of be like, ah, okay, right? Like Barry Sanders, I think was still, still had a handful of years ahead of him, if not more. Calvin Johnson, I feel like, was the same way, too. And Calvin Johnson, I'm like another five years ahead of him. Look at this. Dual relic, dual autograph for the Dolphins. I think that was a late pickup, too. Jack B. Devontae Parker, Jay Ajayi. 89 out of 149. Todd Gurley, that's a good one. I could see that. Not Edelman. I, think, I feel like Edelman's had enough concussions where he would be like, okay, that makes sense. Who said Melvin Gordon? TJ said Melvin Gordon, right? Melvin Gordon's like, eh, I'll just retire. That could be surprising, yeah. JJ Watt could be a, could be interesting. Another major injury for JJ Watt, and he says, F it, I don't want to do it. 2016 Donruss Optic Football. There it is, 2016 Donner's Optic Football it is the next year. We're going from past to the present. Doug, Doug saying Russell Wilson, that'd be surprising. That would definitely be surprising, especially since he's been relatively healthy. Zeke would be surprising, cause just especially because I just think he wants to get paid so, <laughs> so much. I think, though, I think Autosave was kind of touching upon this. I actually think Andrew Luck's going to come back. I think he'll come back. I think he'll take a year off. Um, I think he's going to take a year off. And I could see him coming back and get his outright release from the – because I think Colts would still have his rights, I would imagine. But then um, get his release from the Colts and then join a team where he won't get killed. Stafford could be interesting. He's got, he's got no injuries to speak of, and all of a sudden he just says, I've lost my love for the game. Brady uh, – Brady's old enough though, Dan Maddox. Or I, that wouldn't surprise me. Doug, I, the, the XFL angle for Andrew Luck's pretty interesting, right? His dad's running the XFL, so what if Andrew? What if Andrew Luck's like, yeah, I'll join the LA Wildcats. We'll get some tops, tops XFL cards. Did she really? I didn't know. Mike Tower saying Stafford's wife had brain surgery. Damn. Okay, then I could see that. I could see him just being like, whatever. That's it. Odell Beckham Jr. could be interesting. What if he says, all right, you know, I'm going to walk away from football and launch my brand. I don't know what he's going to do post-football. But, yeah, maybe he's just like, I'm going to want to do other things. I'm tired of everybody yelling at me. And social media. <laughs> All right, 2016 Donruss Optic Football. There's Russell Wilson. That'd be a surprise for sure. Red Iron Kings, Brandon Marshall to 99. We'll have all those sleeve and top. Like... Like Darius Geis, I mean, his career never never took off. But like, if Todd Gurley says, "Hey, I've got that arthritic knee, I'm retiring," and the like in the off season, if he says, "I retire," like that that would be a surprise. But you're kind of like, okay, it kind of makes sense. no, that's payment. It kind of makes sense, but that would still be super surprising. 
There's Trevor Davis to 199. You know what I mean? Like I'm talking like I, I know it's a weird it's a weird set of criteria that I'm trying to set here, but pretty much Andrew Luck, like an established player, if not near superstar, who maybe has had some injuries, but you don't think he's going to walk away from it because you think he's going to be healthy enough to keep continue playing. There he is, right here. Just one off the jersey number as usual. That's what I'm talking about. I like this would be surprising if Cam Newton says, you know, like if I if I can't if I feel like I can't be healthy enough to play the way I like to play the game of football, I'm going to walk away. Got another maybe gets another shoulder surgery, gets banged up, you know. So who knows? Wait, hold on. What what do we say here? Sorry, a lot of people in the chat right now. Stephen K. Wait, I missed that. What was it? What's this lottery talk about? <laughs> Larry Fitzgerald. He's already he's already old enough though. Where you wouldn't be surprised if he retired. Yeah, Melvin Gordon walking away from it, I think, would be pretty surprising. I don't know if he's not quite at the star level that Andrew Luck was, but yeah, that'd be pretty surprising. Is Alex Smith to 149? And and how how's that helping in your playoff run, Rex? How's how's Nick Cassano's helping you there? Josh Doxson, Laquan Treadwell, rookie dual autograph. Uh, Redskins Vikings dual auto. This will be a randomizer at the end. Two thousand sixteen Donruss Signature Series football. Let's do that. Drew Brees. That would be an interesting. Ah, but he's a little on the older side too. I don't know if that'd be too shocking. All right. Keith Marshall. Autograph for the Redskins. That'll be for Roy. Mariota says Greg. Kenyon Drake jersey and autograph. Greg saying Mariota. That's that. That would be pretty surprising. I would say Dolphins. That'll be Jack. Frank Clark. Five out of five, Frank Clark for the did Doxon just sign with the Viking? That's kind of ironic. Five out of five, Frank Clark for the Seattle Seahawks. That's gonna be for Ryan L. That's autosave. Ryan. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! And another dual autograph. 57 out of 100. Look at that. Malcolm Mitchell and Jacoby Brissett. Who's your starting QB for the Colts now? That's going to be for Karen and the Patriots. There you go, Karen. All right, now we're going to 2017 Crown Royale Retail. Retail? There it is. 2017 Crown Royale Retail. Good luck. Wait, did Malcolm Mitchell retire? All right. Winner take all on the points if we pull any more. There's Corey Davis for the Titans.
rookie silhouette, Cooper Cup. I think he's going to be a big part of the uh, big part of the Rams' success this year, if healthy. There's Golden Tate to 299. That's right. Yeah, the Colts did sign Jacoby Brissett to an extension, huh? I I think. I don't know. I don't know. You think the you think the Colts are actually gonna be good this year? I think Jacoby Brissett could add, add an inter interesting element to the Colts. 2017 Classics. Mike Tower saying, "Have players returned successfully being a year or being away from the game for a year or more?" Yeah, Jason Witten just came back after a year, but. I don't know if you. We'll see how successful he is this season, though. That's the that's the question, Wayne. Successfully, return successfully. Witten has returned. Is he going to be successful? Though that's the different story. But I feel like Jason Witten should be able to. Still looked like he was in shape when he was on TV, so. But football is such a weird sport. I feel like if you're just not in prime physical shape and if you're, I mean, the playbooks are so massive that if you're not like, I don't know, if you just don't, ha if you're away from it and you kind of mentally check out, how easy it to check back in. I feel like mentally it would be the hardest part. Here I go. I'm about to get get hit and smacked around and, and, and physically brutalized week to week. To mentally re-prepare yourself for that once you walk away. I don't know. Michael, my, yeah, Michael Jordan, but I feel like that's a little basketball. I feel like is a little bit different. Did Jerry Rice retire for more than a year and come back? I do not remember that. Next one, this is 2017 certified. There's Shelton Gibson to Two ninety nine, the crow. And there's the autograph. Kenny Sabler. That's pretty cool. Five out of ten from our Raiders. That goes to Roy and the Raiders. I think you're right. I think it was Jay Cutler. Wayne's asking, who was the Dolphins QB that was lured out of retirement? I think Mike Tower's right. Because like the, the old Bears OC or maybe old Bears head coach was then on the Dolphins for a minute or two. And then like Tannehill like destroyed his, destroyed his leg. And then they were just like, oh, what do we do? Let's get Jay Cutler. Raiders Amari Cooper to 299. Edward saying Vic, Michael Vic, kind of came back successfully, right? Somewhat successfully after his legal issues. And another Raider quarterback, that's Rich Gannon. 
Flashback Fabrics, 45 out of 50. Nice silver and black patch for Roy. Nice game used material on the back too. I like seeing that. Where are we going to go next? We're going to go to 2018 now. Moving into the world of 2018, we got Panini Donner's Optic Football Collector's Edition. Speaking of quarterbacks, ladies and gentlemen, who's a quarterback, a starting quarterback on the hot seat? Like, if they don't do... That decently this season, that team's going to be looking for another quarterback in the next year or two, you know, through the draft. Who's the QB, QBs on the hot seat? Starting quarterbacks on the hot seat. Mar that's right, Jason Jasper saying Mariota. I agree. Derek Carr, I am for my Raiders. I agree. Edward and Dan. Flacco. Right? Is Flacco going to continue his career or is he going to get get usurped by Lamar Jackson and then Drew Locke? Craig Rose also saying Carr. Kirk Cousins? Yeah, you like that. You know, I know Vikings fans got so tantalizingly close, you know, to to the, uh, what's going to call it, to the Super Bowl. Like, Kirk Cousins got to take him back there pretty quick. Jameis Winston, Jan Hummel is saying that's a good one. Newton, Cam Newton, I think. Will Greer's right behind him. Any Redskins QB in the last 20 years, says Doug? I don't know. Dwayne Haskins is going to get a bit of a leash, I think. I don't think he's on the hot seat. He'll, he, he'll, he has a leash, for sure. A longer leash. Eli Manning, I'm not sure I'm with, just because I feel like he's not too far from, like, there's Marcel Aitman, Sam Darnold, rated rookie, bronze. So those bronze parallels are exclusive to this set. Um, Matt Ryan, I could see... I don't know if he's on the hot seat. I don't think so. I don't think Aaron Rodgers is on the hot seat off of the money they gave him. I think he's there for a while. Rivers, I think, is old enough where I think, like... They got Easton Stick behind him, so... I don't know if Rivers is on the hot seat. I think he's just, I think just by him just aging, I think he just might age out of the quarterback position. And there's, uh, oh, there's Doris Fountain, and then there's Royce Freeman, rookie threats, Oppo Joe Mojo for Josh Kanan and the Broncos. And your redemption is Dante Pettis for the Niners. Rated rookie autographs, bronze. I feel like Stafford's making too much money to... That's for you, uh, Jesse, with the Niners. There's your Niners. All right, now let's go to 2018 Donners Optic Football. Yeah, Stafford might be on the hot seat. He's getting, he's getting paid a lot, though. I don't know if they're just going to release him, right? Or just replace him. Eat that money, unless they can find someone who wants to trade for a veteran gunslinger. Foles, I think, is old enough where I don't think he's really on a hot seat either. He's just, he's just been really blessed. Takes a team to the Super Bowl, you know, plays decently, sells his job in the NFL. He was about to, he was about to retire before that Eagles Super Bowl. 
Goff just got paid today, Greg. I don't think he's on the hot seat. They just locked him up. Yeah, I think Andy Dalton, right? And I don't know if Ryan... Is Ryan Finley the answer behind Andy Dalton? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. But I think Dalton's probably on the hot seat. They got a new coaching staff there. So maybe that coaching staff says, Hey, I want, like... You know, I want my own guy. I want my own... I, I, you know, I want my own guy playing quarterback. So... Yeah, Andy Dalton, I think, hot seat. Yeah, someone else mentioned Rivers too, Josh, and I it just felt like Philip Rivers is kind of is like sort of old enough where he's not really on a hot seat. He may just age out of that quarterback position. Big Ben's kind of on the older side too, isn't he? I don't know, man. I don't I don't know ages very well. But I don't think he has on the hot seat. I mean, un until like Tomlin is gone, and I think Mike Tomlin's probably gonna outlast Big Ben. I don't, I don't think. I think they're gonna ride Big Ben until he decides to retire. But unless they get a new coach, a new coach says, "Hey, Big Ben's out. We're going with a fresh new quarterback." Any Miami quarterback? They're tanking it already. Just, just start Josh Rosen. Just have him do all sixteen games. See what happens. How old are you, Phil Rivers? Nineteen eighty one, what is that? Four forty? Thirty nine? All right. Leonard Fournette as as a running back, hot seat, right? Who are some other players now? What about other positions in the NFL on the hot seat before they're moved on? Is Garoppolo on the hot seat? Nah, they're they're giving they're gonna give him a chance after. After that injury. Is Wentz on the hot seat? But he just got paid though, didn't he? Maybe next, Maybe next year to be on the hot seat. It's Christopher Hernan to 149 for the Jets. Mothra was saying two, two, three more seasons for Big Ben. There's Golden Tate, Black Velocity to 25. Le'Veon Bell on the hot seat? Do you think if he, like, if he doesn't do well for the Jets, that's it? Mark. Yeah, my boy Derek Carr was among the first mentioned Maui Ra. <laughs> but I, I agree. Josh Norman. I guess, oh, yeah, yeah, Wentz did get paid recently, so he, I don't think he's quite on hot seat yet. There's Kamara, 299. Poor Derwin James, he'll be out for a good chunk of time. There's Dallas Goddard, rated rookie, to 299 for the Eagles. That there's a good one. Mike Tower, Josh Gordon, definitely on the hot seat. I don't think he's going to get any more extra chances. And there's Jordan Lasley, nice rated rookie, black velocity parallel. I like that. You see the little squares in the back, kind of dancing back there. That goes to Steve Stone and the Ravens. Out of 25, nice low number on that one. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, Josh Gordon does seem to have like nine lives. But you know what? From all the different podcasts and all the different things that I read and everything, the difference between Josh Gordon and, say, for example, Justin Blackman, right, who was an incredible receiver for the Jaguars, if you guys remember him, but just substance abuse issues and just never cleaned up and he's out of the game all indications nice Anthony Miller downtown all indications seem to say that Josh Gordon's like a nice guy and he's very honest and works hard and and like tries to tries to get back and it's genuine and works with the, the teams continue to give them a chance 
Nice downtown. This is what, uh, in case you guys were wondering, T TJ with the Bears. Nice downtown card. In case you were wondering, that's exactly what downtown Chicago looks like. There's a gigantic bear on the skyline. There's a big, like, mirror egg or a bean. They call it a bean, right? Like a chrome jelly bean that's out there in the middle of somewhere. So if you've never been to Chicago, that's what it looks like. There's a gigantic bear that crawls out of the lake. 2018 Donner's Optic Football in the books. We'll save the mini helmet for last. Let's do Certified, which I think 2019 Certified on our website is down to is sold out. So Certified 3 coming up after this. So we'll see more of this. Yeah, Kareem Hunt definitely on the hot seat. Right, exactly. That's what I think too, Edward. Yeah, for the Patriots to keep Josh Gordon around kind of shows that he's probably a decent dude, yeah. Which is why he has those nine lives that, that Wayne was talking about. As opposed to Justin Blackman, which is like, you never heard of him again. He's gone. I don't know what he's doing. Selling cars? What's he doing? Coaching, coaching like high school team or something like that? Mark Ingram to 400 for the Ravens. Devontae Parker to 199. Certified Gamers. Josh, Josh Cannon is saying, whatever, Pats have no integrity. Yeah, that's right. Bunch of cheaters. Remember when they paid off the refs to screw the Raiders in the tuck rule game? Not that I still care about that game. Because that was a long time ago. Why should you hold on to that, Joe? There's Meikle Hardman. 199. I got him on my fantasy team. Speedster for Bradley. There's Immortals. Johnny Unitas to 399. That's Philip Rivers to 199. And we got a New York football giant. Two color patch and autograph. 28 out of 50. Darius Slayton. New York football giants, Bradley. There's Jalen Hurd. You heard? To 399. And carry on my wayward son. There'll be peace when you are born. Let me bury my heaven and cry no more. Do 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 Three out of five, carry on Johnson. I lost it there for a second, folks. Travis Melberg, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! there for a moment. Refreshing the playlist tomorrow for the for new release day tomorrow, folks. I think some Kansas might end up on there. 2019 Elements Football. If you're in case you're wondering, Donnie is not in this. He's out of Elements. All right, there's Randall Cunningham right here. He's the ba the metal base card. He'll hide the hits right here. We got Peyton Manning, Andrew Luck. Transitions. Well, it's got to go from Peyton Manning to Andrew Luck to Jacoby Brissett, 48. Poor Colts fans. Kind of feel bad. Peter Eng with the Colts. Kind of feel bad for them. They went from Peyton, 
And they thought they're going to have this guy for like another 15, 20 years. And they're we're going to have like 30 years of, uh, of like Hall of Fame quarterback activity. And then behind Cunningham is, ah, is this future Tom Brady right here? Once Tom Brady retires after this year? 38 out of 125, Jared Stidham. I think he's going to. They're going to win one more and he's going to be like, I'm out. Karen with the Patriots. And then the autograph should be an on-plate auto. It is Tyler Boyd. What that is right there? Is that is that a scuff on the plate? Come on, man. Yeah, it looks like it. From the manufacturing. Tyler Boyd, on plate autograph though. That's out of 149. Bangles with that one. Cat Team Mojo, Last Spot Mojo, Trey. Trey R. And then there's the Cunningham right here. That's 75. And that why don't they put a protective covering on the autograph? All right. After late, after last year, Gurley may be on the hot seat. That's a possibility. I think they're. I think they're going to give Gurley a little bit of leash, a bit of a longer leash, though. They're like, hey, here's here's Daryl Henderson. You know, we're gonna we're gonna have him. We're gonna preserve your career, Todd Gurley. I think that's more of the, in my opinion, I think that's more of the the signal to me than, hey, you're on the hot seat. But I don't know. We'll see. All right. Let's play America's favorite game. Who am I? I'll give you clues. And you tell me who this football player is. So I'm peeking right now. Don't look. Uh-huh. 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 Let's look this guy up. Let's see what this guy's all about. All right, who am I? I am a retired American football player. How long did I play? I played for one team my entire career. How old am I? I'm currently uh, 60 years old, turning 61 in October. Stood 5'11", 230. I was a linebacker. I was born in Houston. I'm a Super Bowl champion, a 10-time Pro Bowler, 8-time First Team All-Pro, only 1-time Second Team All-Pro, NFL Man of the Year, a 2-time NFL Defensive Player of the Year, 3-time NFC Player of the Year, 2-time Football Digest NFL Linebacker of the Year, part of the NFL 1980s All-Decade Team, 2-time Southwest Conference Player of the Year, 2-time Consensus All-American, Two-time Davey O'Brien Memorial Trophy Award winner, Bart Starr Award winner, 1,488 tackles, 19 sacks, 7 interceptions. I'm in the Football Hall of Fame. I'm a Hall of Famer. Drafted in the second round in 1981, known as the heart of the defense for the Monsters of the Midway. And one of my favorite, one of my favorite quotes in his coaching career telling uh, Vernon Davis I told him that he would do a better job for us right now taking a shower and coming back and watching the game than going on this field this coach said after the 34-13 to loss to Seattle simple as that <laughs> uh, it's pretty good I'd rather play with 10 people and just get penalized all the way until we had to have to do something else rather than play with 11 when I know that the right person uh, that right now that person is not sold out to be part of the team it's more about them than it is about the team. Cannot play with them. Cannot win with them. Cannot coach them. Can't do it. I want winners. I want people that want to win. One of my one of my favorite. Uh, that's one of my most favorite. Like it's kind of motivational if you think about it. It's like you don't want them. I don't want these guys. This is for TJ and the Bears. Nice Mike Singletary autograph. Yeah. There's the Beckett sticker on the back. There's the Beckett card in there. There's this nice autograph right there, one of my favorite. It's, it's about, 
It is more about them than it is about the team. Cannot play with them. Cannot win with them. Cannot coach with them. Can't do it. I want winners. I want people that want to win. Yeah, that. Oh, yeah, that's right. TJ got a jersey, a Mike Singletary jersey, too. There you go. Pair that up. That's pretty strong. And there you have it, boys and girls. Nice one, TJ. I didn't call your name out too much, but that mini helmet is pretty nice. There you go. Let's let's randomize these guys here. Oh, Mike Singletary. What's he doing now? Mike Singletary is well was the coach of the Memphis Express, and I'm not sure what he's doing after that. So we'll keep an eye on Mike Singletary. See if we get some more some more uh, quote worthy quotes. That's why he just needs to be in the league for those quote worthy quotes. All right, so everyone has a shot at the points from Bill down to Roy and everyone in between. And then the dual from 2016 Donruss Optic dual autograph, which is expired, but I think, I think Panini will still hook you up with something, if not the thing itself. So Josh Doxson, who was a Redskin at the time, and Minnesota Laquan Treadwell in that checklist. Let's roll it and randomize it. Three and a six, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, we've got Michael Gallucci. Little consolation prize, 150 bucks going your way. Nine times for these two teams right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, that stays with Minnesota Laquan Treadwell. That goes to Dan Maddox at the very end. Once again, Dan, I know it's expired, but Panini, generally speaking, does a pretty good job at either honoring the expired and sending you this dual autograph or hooking you up with something else in return. So contact them, try to figure it out. Congrats to you. Thanks, everybody. If you're looking for more football mixers, football is back. We've got a massive 35-box football mixer in the shop right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Early bird spot still available, and if you pre-order tonight, you have a chance to win another spot there too. <laughs> Greg was teared up by that that Mike Singletary rendition. It's 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 inspirational. If you if folks if you have like uh, if you're in a position of like a supervisor or something like that, use that quote. If that team if your team's not pulling together, you just tell them I want winners. I want players. I want to win. Thanks everyone. We'll see you next time. Jaspiescasebreaks.com.